Hey techies, Anthony from Hashes Dead here, and this is the LG LCD monitor. That's the name. That is very nondescript. It's a 1080p 60 frame per second monitor. Uh, not too fancy, but it for the purpose of what I need it for, which is productivity. It's a perfectly acceptable monitor. Don't get me wrong. You could probably game on this, but I use it for static display, so it basically keeps my Discord and my notes just sitting there. In the box, um, no root control, I mean, because really it's a basic monitor, uh, but it does come with the usual instructions and all the paperwork you expect. Um, and I'm going to point out one thing real quick. This thing is a dust magnet. Like, I've had this for about a month. I got it at Best Buy for a sale. Uh, it was under $100 at the time. And um, I, I brought it home and it had issues that I hate it right away. Um, not because of performance, it was because of um, a thumbstick. So let's turn this thing around. And uh, as I try not to drop it with one hand, here is what the back looks like. It's very simple, nondescript. Uh, base is of course separate, you have to put that together. And if we put it down flat, here is my problem. This thing, this thumbstick, I hate it. Uh, to reach it from the front, and uh, I will show you, to reach it from the front, you literally have to kind of just put your hand under like this. And if you don't use your finger or you know, your thumb to support yourself, you're not going to get, it's going to be difficult to get it to move the way you want. Because it has directional up down left right but it also has the um you have to push it for the you know to put the function through and i hate it i hate it so much whatever happened to buttons being on monitors anyway so it has an audio jack here it has uh vga which is surprising uh and then hdmi port and then this is the power port uh, another thing i hate it's, it has a brick it has a power brick and it takes up, I have to put out the end of the power strip and it's just, it's, uh, and the cord isn't very long because, and I, when I got this, was, the intention was to vase mount it to the second tier of in my desk. And uh, it was, uh, because of the cord of the, the power cord being so short, I couldn't really move it very far. And that was super annoying because the, um, if you have seen my desk before, uh, here is where it goes. Here's where the power cord or the power strip is. You can see a little bit at the end there. And uh, yeah, it wasn't even long enough to allow me to use the vase. I like after a day, I was like, okay, this isn't working. And now it's on its foot. And speaking of, it's a simple, um, you pull this little bit out here and you twist it into place where you can use a straight edge screwdriver. Nothing too fancy. Here, um and clear out the back space here. Uh, this shelving unit is actually gonna get replaced with this cabinet. And I'm gonna move some of this stuff over to make this fit uh, because it's, uh, it's a little over a foot and a half wide, maybe two feet. But on the back, there is the power, there, there's a whole box that controls everything. Uh, power cord plugs into it. You can plug an Ethernet cord in if you wanted. Otherwise it's Wi-Fi, there's an antenna and everything. Also the connector for this um, keyboard, or. To punch or not to punch? That is the question. So the one thing I really, when I compare it to the uh, TV next to it, because I use this Vizio um, for a second monitor and watch videos or, or I'm editing or whatever, um, no glare. I really appreciate that. You can see it, uh, there's the light here. But if you look at this, you can see me. Hi, me. But no glare. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to turn it on. And... Uh, Here's the screen. It's decent. It's 1080p, of course, 60 frames per second. And it gives you the commands as soon as you turn it on. And if I push the button again, you can see here are the options. Power, input, picture mode, and settings. Now it'll time out eventually. If I go left, uh, it shows me the input list, and I can switch between them. Uh, 
but obviously, here we go. Um, then we click on it, we go to settings, and we get the typical settings menu. I've left cancels out. Uh, back to settings. So I can go through them. If I go right, I can change them individually. And uh, actually, I'm kind of wondering. Uh, well. Okay, cool. Let's do hi. Let's see what happened. I've never used it before. Uh, anyway, <laughs> automatic standby. Oh, that's cool. And uh, okay, so so we just played around with a little functionality here. Let's uh, go to the next option, picture mode. And of course, it gives you the picture modes. I actually use the settings in the computer for it, so you know that's pretty much. Uh, all I really need. Now there is an accessibility setting, which if you press up on the stick, uh, you get the options of turning on sounds and then how you want the sounds to sound. I don't know how well you can hear that. But it makes a weird ticking. But that's it's for people, I guess, who really can't see the screen to know they're putting commands in maybe. I don't, I don't know exactly how accessibility would benefit somebody just to hear a, a little click or something, but, you know, um, you know, whatever, I guess. And that's essentially it for the monitor. Um, again, no glare, really appreciate that, hate the stick, and it's a dust magnet. But for under $100, for, uh, I believe this is, these are both 24 inch, so yeah, 24 inch TV, 24 inch uh, screen. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's worth the price. If you can find it for under $100, uh, I think I paid somewhere around 80, and that was a sweet spot. Otherwise, I wouldn't have jumped on it. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.